Finish it. Yeah, one heavy one. Everybody loved them some biceps. Today was arm day for me. And uh, sometimes there's a misconception that, you know, arms are just there for us to walk around and, you know, look good or you know, get gawked at because you got big arms, 20 inch arms, 22 inch arms, 24 inch arms. You know, that's all our goals, you know, as kids. And that's all we think about, you know, as growing up, as uh, when we get in the gym and training arms, is you want to make them look good. You want to make them look good. always got to remember they're supporting muscles as well and besides looking good they have to be strong you know to support the compound movements that we have to do to facilitate other body parts getting bigger stronger and better as well so remember when you go in the gym and get ready to do arms just don't think of them as walking around showing off I got 20 inch arms or so it's always one you know, you want to think about you know, my arms are powerful, my arms are steady, my arms are stable, my arms are there to engage whatever I need them to engage whenever I ask them to, to help me finish and complete, you know, the important lifts. Oh my God, it's definitely a pump. Oh, biceps is one of my least favorite body parts to train, believe it or not. For some reason, as uh, soon as I start, I feel a pain right in the middle and it never relieves. The whole workout is there. I don't know if because I'm so concentrated on biceps and, you know, everybody loves to have a good pair of arms and pretty biceps. So I don't know. I just concentrate more on squeezing and flexing the muscle than just going through the motions. It's... the curls you got to make sure that you stay in control and that you do the rep not use momentum to do it for you so you want to make sure you place the bar down and you place it up each time not get this momentum swing going pieces of all the explanation that I give about the way we train and anyone that has listened in the past will get what I'm trying to say is where I'm always in control even though it looks like I'm swinging and I'm out of control I'm always in control of what I'm doing and even if, if, if there's a swing coming up then it's control coming down swing coming up control so you know what I mean it's control fury and what I'm saying about this is that you have to use a little bit more control than normally on other exercises. If you don't, you'll get the swinging and you'll totally miss what you're trying to achieve. I 
learned this when I was really small from my brother. And uh, he always told me if I wanted a big bench, then work on my triceps. Because if you know how it all works, and if you heard me say it before, from your chest to midpoint is where you have the most power, where you draw the most power out of your body. Once you pass midpoint, that's where you struggle. And that's where the triceps mostly kick in to help the finish. And so having big, strong triceps help you push through the bench press. So thus, I work my ass off on my triceps. You know, you want to think about my arms are powerful, my arms are steady, my arms are stable, my arms are there to engage whatever I need them to engage whenever I ask them to, to help me finish and complete, you know, the important lifts. So there's a lot more to it than just walking around looking pretty. But I sure do like it. See you next time.